Alrighty guys, welcome to your fourth art tutorial and in this video I want to talk to you guys about variables. Now if you're new to computer programming, what variable is, is just a placeholder for something else. So let me go ahead and give you guys an example. I'm not going to be typing um, R code, so don't try to run this. This is actually just some text so I can demonstrate exactly what a variable is. So say that we have the variable x and we set it equal to bacon. And then someone writes, I love to eat X. Obviously, what this means is I love to eat bacon because this X variable is a placeholder for bacon. So that's how easy it is in real life and actually that's how easy it is in R as well. So how do we set these variables actually using R? Well there are a couple different ways and let me go ahead and show you that right now say that well let's go ahead and keep the variable x what we can do is use the equal sign and set it equal to some value such as 32 so right now whenever we use x in our program the computer sees it as 32 so now we can do those math functions like before such as x plus um, 8 or something like that and if we highlight both these and run it the result is of course 40 because y x which is 32 plus 8 equals 40 very simple now another way that we can set variables is a little bit different um, and I say different because it's different than using the equal sign and it's also a little bit different than other programming languages what you can do is make a variable let's just name this one b you can name a variable pretty much any the rules for naming a variable is this you can name it any combination of uh, letters but it can't start with a number and it can't start with an underscore and there are a couple other rules as well but I'll talk to you guys about the specific rules right now right now just name it any letter or any word easy enough so anyways I'm gonna name mine B and what I want to do is I want to set this equal to 8 so we can press equals 8 but we can also use this little symbol the less than and then the hyphen I don't know if it's called a hyphen it's next to the zero on your keyboard but what this does is it basically this helps uh, some people like visualize it better assign the value of 8 to the variable B or set 8 equal to B so this is basically the same thing as this but the arrow is a little more common in R so right now whenever we use B we're gonna get 8 so we can do B plus 10 run this bad boy and check it out 18 so those are two different ways that we can set or assign variables um, whatever you want to call it and another cool thing is we can also set multiple variables at once so say that we have uh, the variables Bucky and tuna let me go ahead and type this and we want to set all those to like uh, my favorite number 20 so whenever we want to set multiple variables at once we can write the code like this and what this is basically saying is take the value of 20 and assign it to tuna and Bucky as well so now anytime we use Bucky or tuna let's just go ahead and you can actually just type the variable name to print it out we can see that Bucky is equal to 20 and tuna is also equal to 20 so that's another way of doing that if you wanna again set the value of multiple variables at once you can do it all in one line no need for uh, two different lines for Bucky and tuna so that'll clean up your code a little bit as well and the last thing I wanna mention is that there is even a third way to set a variable so again we learn the equal sign we learn the little arrow and now I'm going to hit you with a third one, and that is using the keyword assign. Now, this is actually called a function, but we'll talk more about functions later on. So what this function does is it basically you need to give it two pieces of information separated with a com comma. The first one is the name of your variable, and I'm just going to name my variable ham and then hit a comma. And then after that, you need to give it the value. So I'll just set this equal to 71, one of my favorite hockey players numbers. 
And what this is going to do is it's going to assign the value of 71 to the variable ham. So now we can do ham plus, uh, let's just do ham plus 20 or something. Run this and check it out. Whenever we assign 71 to ham, we can do ham, which is 71 plus 20, and that equals 91. And if you're ever wondering, all right, so we know how to set variables equal to values, but how do we pretty much, how do I say this? How do we remove the assignment or how do we remove um, the fact that 71 is assigned to ham? Well, what we can do is we can use another function called rm. And of course, this only takes one um, they're called parameters but one piece of information and that's the name of the variable so let me go ahead and do this and I'll tell you tell you guys what I'm doing so the first line is gonna assign the value of 71 to ham so we're gonna print out ham on the screen and it's gonna say 71 and now when we remove the values from ham this ham variable has no value anymore since we removed it that's what rm means so now when we print it out, well, I'll show you guys what happens. So the first thing we did is we assigned 71 to ham, printed out 71, and then we removed the ham variable, and it said object not found because, well, we removed it. It's no longer in memory. So that's why you would want to remove a variable. It pretty much helps free up memory and, uh, well, can help your uh, computer or your program run faster. But that is basically what a variable is. Now you guys understand. And you also understand the three different ways that you can assign values to variables to use in your program later on. So thank you guys for watching. And also, if you guys ever have any questions, then there is a forum. And I'll put a link below, buckysroom.org slash forum. You can go to that, and there's a bunch of people willing to help. So thank you, and I'll see you next time.